Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, right now. Thank you, God. We're just coming on to give the prophetic word for 2021. God bless everybody as they come on. I just ask that you'll share uh, when you come on. Hallelujah. Everybody that comes on. So, Father, I just thank you right now for this 2021 prophetic word. Hallelujah. Let's share this over in the group right now. In Jesus' name, we praise you, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. God bless everybody that's coming on. Make sure everybody can see me. Can everybody see me that's coming on? Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you, Elaine, coming on. God bless everybody coming on. Hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus, right now. We just open up in prayer right now. We thank you, Lord. God bless you, woman of God. Blessings, blessings, grace, and peace. Hallelujah. God bless you. Father, we just thank you right now. I just praise you right now for this 2021 prophetic word. We thank you, Father, for this new year, 2021, that it's coming in right now in Jesus' name. God, we give you the praise and glory, God. We worship you right now, Father. We worship you, Jesus. We are nothing without you, Lord. We cannot do this without your grace, without your mercy, God. We need new mercies every morning. You said in your word, God, that your mercies are new every morning. It is because your mercies that we are not consumed. Your compassions, they fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness unto us, and our soul knows it right well. God, we thank you for new mercies right now, Jesus. We praise you for this new year, 2021, coming up right now, Father. We thank you that it's New Year's Eve. We thank you that you're getting ready to do a new thing in the earth, God. We thank you, God, that the old things have passed away. Hallelujah. And all things have become new. Hallelujah. God says, hallelujah, I'm about ready to do a new thing in the earth. Shall you not know it? It shall spring forth now. It shall spring forth. Shall Shall you not know it? I'm going to make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. So 2021 is something the Lord said that is coming that we have never seen in the earth. God said something new that has never been seen is coming in 2021. The Lord said, I've been preparing my body all throughout the trials and the tribulations. The Lord is saying all throughout 2021. I know you've had a hard 2021, says the Lord, but I'm about ready to break you out in this season, says the Lord. In 2021, this is going to be the year of the mountain of glory and fire. The Lord said that this is the year of the mountain of the house of the Lord, the year of the mountain of glory and fire. The Lord said also this is a year of the river of healing that is going to come out to the nations. There's going to be a river coming out from the throne, throne room of God. And this is coming from the mountain of the Lord. And the Lord said, this is the mountain of the Lord. This is the mountain of the house of the Lord. And this will, will be where people see my fire and glory for the first time. God said that every great man and women of God always went up on top of a mountain to meet with God. And God said, we're about ready to meet God in a new way. There's about ready to be a new revelation of Jesus Christ in the earth. The Lord said, get ready because the last days are here. The Lord said that in the, in the last days, this is a promise prophecy of Isaiah chapter 2 and also Micah chapter uh, 4. There's a prophecy that in the last days that the Lord will establish the mountain of the house of the Lord and it will be set in the mountains. Now he says all nations will flow to this mountain and they will come to the mountain of the house of the Lord and he shall teach them he shall teach them their ways and they will walk in his path. And so God said, it is my mountain and my glory. My glory, mountain of fire and glory is coming. I'm also sending a river of healing out to the nations. The Lord said that Ezekiel 47, there is a river of God that goes out. And everywhere that river goes, the waters are healed. And everywhere that river goes, that new life comes. God said, I'm sending out that river of Ezekiel 47 from the throne room in 2021. And God said it's not going to only just heal uh, people, but it's going to heal the nations. The nations and the people in the earth, uh, different cities that have been destroyed through coronavirus and uh, through uh, different rioting and things that happened in uh, 2000 uh, and uh, 20, the Lord said. So there's river of healing. Also, I want you to see this river. It's in Revelation 22. Uh, there's also this river of healing coming out of Revelation 22. But I want you to read to read some of this stuff because you know me, I don't just, um, sometimes I don't just come out and prophesy or give a prophetic word without scripture. But I want you to have the scripture so you can go back and look at this. But I'm also, after I give this 
um, this prophetic word for 2021, I'm going to allow the Holy Ghost to prophesy, okay? So we're going to begin to prophesy over 2021, people. God, Jesus said that if we speak to this mountain, this is why it's the year of the mountain, because we have a lot of mountains in our way. The Lord said if you speak to this mountain, it'll be removed and cast into the sea. If you speak to this mountain and you doubt not in your heart, but you believe those things that are coming to pass that you speak, you'll still have whatever you say and nothing shall be impossible for you. So Lord said, this is a year that we prophesy to our mountains. This is the year that we speak to the mountains. This is the year that we go by what Jesus taught us. Jesus taught us in Mark 11, 23 through 25 to speak to the things. He, he taught us to speak to mountains. He taught us about mountains. He taught us to how to speak to sycamine trees and uproot sycamine trees. And so Lord said, this is your year you're going to prophesy your destiny. You're going to speak to your 2021 today. It's not, you're not going to sit back and wait for me to do something. The Lord said this is the year body of Christ that the body of Christ begins to need to speak forth and prophesy the Lord said to prophesy to your 2021 it's begin the, the body it's time for us to prophesy to our 2021 and speak to the mountains in our way the Lord said to come up to my presence into the mountain of the house of the Lord I'm going to teach people my ways and I'm going to show them my mountain of glory, and I'm going to appear to many. The Lord said, is there council room visitations in 2021? The Lord said, there are council rooms appointments, council room appointments and visitations in 2021. I am giving new appointments and new uh, assignments from the council room. God said new apostolic and prophetic mantles are going to be transferred. I see an apostolic and prophetic mantles that are transferred and they're going to be a migration of apostolic prophetic mantles. This is also the year of the spiritual fathers and the spiritual mothers. The Lord said spiritual fathers and spiritual mothers will raise up many sons and daughters and they will transfer offices uh, the office of the apostle, the office of the prophet to their sons and daughters. The Lord said this is a year of migration and transferring of mantles that have never been seen in the earth in these last days. The Lord said that there will be mantles of Elijah who stood for the mantle of the prophet and there will be the mantle of Moses. This is why Jesus took Peter, James, and John in Matthew 17 out to the Mount of Transfiguration and they saw uh, Jesus transfigured before him and he saw Moses and Elijah. This stood for three types of mantles that are able to get uh, transferred in the earth in these last days. And the Lord said those three mantles are one is Moses, the apostolic. Two is Elijah, the prophetic, and three is Jesus, which is the kingly uh, anointing, okay? So you have three mantles that can be transferred in the earth in 2021. The Lord said it will be the mantle of the apostle Moses, the, the mantle of the prophet Elijah, and the mantle of the king Jesus. So it stands for the kingly anointing. Jesus is the messianic uh king that is coming. Now, I want you to look at this. The Lord said there will be a prophecy fulfilled in Daniel chapter 2, verse 34 through 35. We know that there are some things that are called dual prophecies. That means that some of these prophecies have already been fulfilled when the first coming of Christ came. Uh, when we seen in AD 33, we seen Jesus uh, uh, died on the cross. He was buried. He was raised from the dead and he ascended into heaven. Now we've seen the fulfillment of many of the prophecies and most of the prophecies of the Old Testament. And then we also saw that in AD, uh, about AD 30, Three through eighty seventy, there were many prophecies fulfilled uh, of Matthew twenty four when there was the destruction of the temple. So we are seeing many prophecies that were fulfilled when it was established. The old covenant was moved into the new covenant, into the age of grace or the church age. But now, many of these prophecies of Zechariah, of Daniel, uh, of many Isaiah, many of these are dual prophecies. Joel chapter 2. Uh, we've seen Joel chapter 2 that it was, you know, come to pass. It was fulfilled in Acts chapter 2. When Peter got up and said, this is what was prophesied by Joel the prophet, that in the last days it shall come to pass that uh, uh, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Your old men will see visions and your old men will dream dreams. So we see that was a, a prophecy that was already fulfilled 
uh, in Acts chapter 2 on the day of Pentecost. But many of those prophecies were what are called, uh, a, have a second fulfillment or what's called a dual prophecy, meaning that it will come to pass again afterward. Joel said that in the last days, it'll come to pass that, that I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. That word in the Greek and Hebrew is ekatos, meaning it is the last of the last days. So there is a dual prophecy coming for Joel chapter 2. But also I want you to show you this dual prophecy of Daniel chapter 2 verse uh, 34 through 35. There was a dream of King Nebuchadnezzar uh, that was interpreted by Daniel. But this was actually a prophecy of the coming messianic kingdom. That it would come and it would fulfill, it would fill the earth and it would break down all the images and the idols and that that ball would be come out of the mountain and it would destroy every other kingdom and that there would be a kingdom that would not be destroyed. And this is what the Lord said, that I'm about ready to establish my kingdom in the earth in 2021, says the Lord. That my kingdom age is starting. I prophesy a new age era is starting. The kingdom age is starting. We're going from the church age into the kingdom age. We're going to see the kingdom of heaven begin to come on the earth. The Lord said, I seen the bride of Christ descending as as of uh, seen the city of God descending as a bride adorned for her husband. So that's in Revelation 21. We see the new Jerusalem. We have already come to the new Jerusalem uh, into a heavenly assembly, but the, the kingdom is now, but not yet. Okay, the kingdom is now, but not yet. And so we're going to see that the beginning of the kingdom is, it's already started back in AD 33 when Jesus uh, suffered on the cross. He died and he was buried. He was resurrected and he ascended to the right hand of Father. And then Acts chapter 111, uh, that Jesus ascended and the disciples stood looking up and they saw two angels that said, uh, what are you looking for? That same Jesus that went up into the heavens, he shall return to earth in the same manner. And so we see that there will be a second coming of Christ coming back to the earth. But first of all, many things had to be fulfilled in prophecy. Daniel 2, 34-35. Thou uh, sawest till the stone was cut out of of the mountain, we we're talking about the year of the mountain of glory, the year of the mountain of the house of the Lord. So it was, he said that there was a stone cut out of the mountain without hands and it smote the image upon his feet. It said, and it was of iron and of clay and it break them in pieces. Then it says, uh, Daniel 4 35, that then was the iron, the clay, the brass, the silver and the gold broken two pieces together and became like the shaft of the summer fleshing uh, floor and the wind carried it away. Now the Lord said, this is prophetic, for the year 2021 I prophesy right now. And he says, no place was found anymore for them. And the stone that smote the image that was cut out of the mountain without hands became a great nation and it filled the whole Earth, it filled the old whole earth. This was the messianic kingdom of Jesus Christ coming to fill the whole earth. And the Lord said, my kingdom and my glory is going to be seen in the earth. Habakkuk 2.14, God uh, prophesied to the to the prophet Habakkuk, that the knowledge of the glory of the Lord would cover the earth as the waters of the sea. And God said, my glory and my fire is about ready to see, be seen in the earth, says the Lord. And it will be seen through my vessels of glory and honor. The Lord said, he is raising up apostles and prophets and vessels of the elect in this hour. And that God said, the vessels of honor will reign in life. By one Jesus Christ. God said 2021 is the year of reigning in life. You will reign this year, says the Lord. Romans 5, 17. It is by the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness that we can reign in life. By one Jesus Christ. For God said this is your year of the, the messianic uh, kingdom reigning in the earth. And the saints and the election of God. The elect chosen of God and the saints of God are going to reign with them, says the Lord. That this, uh, this ball is going to come out that is cut without hands. And it's going to begin to break down every idol in your life. 
God said this is a year of purging and cleansing. God said that it's the pur year of purging and re-cleansing and dedication of the temple. The Lord said it is the year of purging and rededication of the temple. Well, what is the temple now? Jesus said the temple is now our body. Paul said the temple is now our body. And the temples are also now the churches of Jesus Christ. So God said that there's going to be a cleansing of fire and glory going through my churches, says the Lord. It's going to go and it's going to burn out the dross. The spirit of burning and judgment, Isaiah 4, 4. And the refiner's fire and the full of soul, Malachi 3, 2. These prophecies of Malachi uh, uh, 3 and Isaiah 4 is also a dual prophecy that is ready to come to pass in the last days, even as Micah chapter 5, uh, chapter 4, 1 through 7, and also is Isaiah chapter 2, that the mountain of the house of the Lord, hallelujah, uh, will be seen in the earth in the last days and all nations shall flow to it and all people. And the Lord said, I will teach them my ways, hallelujah, and I'll, they shall walk in my path. So this is the year, 2021, that the Lord said the church is coming back to God, that, that all the trials that we went through in 2020, the Lord said, in 2019, has brought the church back to me, says the Lord. Hallelujah. I allowed these things to come to pass. I allowed the plagues of COVID-19. I allowed the race wars in the streets. I allowed the earthquakes uh, and all the destruction of fires in California, says the Lord, so that you would come back to me and that I could purge and cleanse you. The Lord said, John 20, I want you, or John 15, I want the body of Christ to read John 15 and 2 Corinthians 6:16. 6, this is what the Lord is saying to the church, hallelujah, in 2021. He says this in John 15, every tree, hallelujah, I am the... Uh, I am the vine and you are the branches. The Lord said, every branch that beareth not fruit, the Lord purges it. Why? It's not because he purges it and throws it in the fire. Many people interpreted John 15 that if you don't bear fruit, that God's going to purge you and put you in the fire. But no, he says, I'm going to purge you that you can grow more fruit. So anybody out here in 2021, the Lord said, if you have been bearing fruit, the Lord said, I'm going to, the, the pruning and the purging is just going to make you bear more fruit in 2021. The Lord said, there's been a cleansing and a purging that has happened. And I'm cleansing my temples, the Lord said. And I'm also building my temple, says the Lord. I'm rededicating my temple, says the Lord. And you are my temples. And I want you to hear this prophecy, hallelujah, of Ephesians chapter, let me finish with John 15. But there's a prophecy that many people just read it, but they don't understand that Ephesians chapter 2, 13 through 16, and Ephesians 2, 18 through 22, talks about that we are built up uh, to become a holy temple unto God, to bring sacrifices of praise unto Him. So I want you to read this. And the Lord said it's also going to bring Jew, Gentile, bond free together, and God is going to save all Israel. Because God said that the the fullness of the Gentiles is coming in and that salvation is going back to the Jews. I prophesy that the Israel is going to be saved. Many Jews are going to be saved in 2021. And I see a prophecy of uh, uh, Romans 9 going to come to pass that the Jews are going to come back to God. Hallelujah. And they're not going to, uh, they're going to be able to see that the blindfolded in 2 Corinthians 4, 4, there's a blindfold that Satan put a blindfold on their face. There was a veil. They talked about in 2 Corinthians 3 that that every time they read the Old Testament or Moses, the law of Moses, there's a veil over their face. Huh? But, but he says the veil is about ready to be lifted. Apocalyptus means the unveiling. The unveiling of Jesus Christ. The revelation of Jesus Christ, I prophesy, is coming in 2021. Here's what he says also in Ephesians chapter 3. Let's look at this. Verse 13. But now in Christ Jesus, you who are sometimes afar off, are made nigh by the blood of Jesus Christ, for he is our peace who has broken down, uh, he, uh, he is our peace who has made both of one and has broken down the middle wall of partition. Look at this. Having abolished in the flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments, 
contained in the ordinances for to make in himself one new man so making peace. So God said year 2021 is the year of one new man. Hallelujah. The year of one new man. God said I'm bringing the body into one. Not only just the body of Christ but all nations of Jews and Gentiles. Hallelujah. Of Israel is coming back to God says the Lord. The fullness of the Gentiles is coming in in 2021 because I'm getting ready to come back to the earth, says the Spirit of God. Hallelujah, get ready, says the Lord. I'm coming back, says the Spirit of God. So he says, I'm about ready to break down. Even though we know this prophecy was fulfilled once, as I said, it has a dual fulfillment. He says this, I have abolished in the flesh the enmity and the law of commandments and ordinances Hallelujah, I'm making one new man, so making peace, verse 16, and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereof, Ephesians 2, 17, and he came and preached to you who were afar off and to them that were nigh, for through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father, look at this, uh, Ephesians 2 and uh, verse 19. Now therefore you are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ being the chief cornerstone. Now mark it down. Here's the temple coming. The Lord said the house of the, the mountain of the house of the Lord is coming in the tops of the mountains, which is Jerusalem. This is where Jesus, Zechariah 14, that he will land on the Mount of Olives and he shall part the Mount of Olives. That Jesus is coming back a second time to the earth. That same Jesus that went up, he's coming back the same way. Look at this, Ezekiel or Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 20. And they are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ, the chief cornerstone. Verse 21, in whom all the building fitly joined together, hallelujah, unto a holy temple. Look at this. They're fitly joined together unto a holy temple in God. Mark it down, Ephesians 2, 22. We see 2, 2, 2 right here. He says, in whom you are also built together for a habitation of God, through the Spirit. So God is making another temple, you God. Uh, they talk about the third temple, but the third temple, I prophesy, is us. The third temple is this temple that is being built, that is us, that are coming into one new man, built a holy temple unto God, because God, so God can tabernacle among his people. So I will be their God, and they will be my people. Revelation twenty twenty one that the bride is coming down, the new city of Jerusalem, and to be a tabernacle among his people. So God is coming to tabernacle among his people through the messianic kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ, I prophesy, in 2021. We're going to see that ball that was cut without hand, Daniel 2 and 35, and it's going to come and destroy every idol in your life, every false god, every elemental spirits of the Stokion. Yeah, it talks about Paul said, why are you in bondage to the elementary spirits? spirits of the world. These elementary spirits are uh, Psalm 82, that these were gods. He said there were, that you are gods. He was talking about small g, gods, that there were fallen angels uh, that had certain powers and they ruled over certain nations. But God said, I'm taking away the first that I might establish the second. And the Lord said, I'm breaking down these principalities, these powers, and these territorial spirits over nations. And God said, I'm setting up the apostles and prophets in the prophetic ministry over nations. The Lord said there will be a territorial anointing in 2021. The Lord said that new territories are going to be taken for the kingdom of God by the body of Christ. As this messianic kingdom comes, the kingdom of heaven on the earth, the Lord said that territorial anointings will come out. And the Lord said that there will be, hallelujah, uh, mantles that are going to be released in the earth that have never been seen uh, in the last 40 or 50 years, as is the mantle of Elijah, the mantle of Moses. We're going to see when he talks about the two prophets, uh, you know, that are going to be in the holy city, Revelation 11, 11, they'll die in that holy city. And after three and a half days, the spirit of life in Christ Jesus will come back and raise them up from the dead. So we see mantles of the apostles and prophets, the mantle of Moses and Elijah 
coming into the earth in the last days. And the Lord said, I'm, I'm transferring mantles and migrating mantles, says the Spirit of God. And so many people that were not able to handle their apostolic or prophetic office, the Lord said, I'm going to, in 2021, I'm migrating, I'm migrating that mantle to someone else who, who is able to handle that. And the Lord said it also, it is the year of spiritual fathers and spiritual mothers transferring offices and the mantles to their sons and daughters, says the Spirit of God. So there will be many offices and apostolic mantles and offices and prophetic offices. So the Lord said, you're next in line. I prophesy. You, I prophesy. Many people are on here uh, that have been training for the prophetic office. You've been out in the world and it's training. You've been training for, you've been told that you are an apostle. But I prophesy in the year 2021, you're going to pick up the mantle of Elijah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You're going to pick up the mantle of Moses and you're going to pick up the mantle of Deborah, which is the uh, dominion anointing. The Lord says you will rule and reign, a rulership and a reigning in life uh, through a dominion anointing and a territorial anointing, I prophesy. The Lord said that this mantle of Esther is coming. The mantle of Esther's are coming. The mantle of Deborah's are coming. And the mantle of dominion. Because Aaron had a high priest, had a dominion anointing. That's why Miriam, you've seen in Numbers 12, listen to this. There, 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 there was a judgment on prophetess Miriam because, uh, uh they, they, they were, uh, uh, jealous of Moses because they said, does God only speak through Moses? Does not he speak through us? Numbers 12. And then he also married a, a Cushite woman, an African American, a black woman. And, and they, there was a, a like a racist, like, uh, spirit. So God judged him right there. And he said, Miriam is going to uh, get leprosy. I'm going to kick her out of the camp. But notice why didn't Aaron, why didn't Aaron get judged with Miriam? Because Aaron had a dominion anointing upon him. That means it'll keep you from the judgment of God. That means that, that that's why uh, God told uh, uh, Abimelech in uh, Genesis 20 that I'll have my prophet Moses pray for you and all this evil will come up off of you. There's a certain kind of dominion anointing on prophets uh, that an apostles that the Lord is putting on uh, an extra like um, glory. I see new glory coming on the the apostles and prophets being clothed in new glory, dominion, and territorial anointings. The Lord said, "You will go into territories that you could not go into in the year 2016 to the year 2020. In 2021, the Lord said there will be many territories. I prepared you for this work." Uh, in 2020, says the Lord, you wondered why you had so many trials. The Lord says, think it not th strange, these fiery trials that have come to try you, because the trying of your faith worketh patience. And James says, let patience have her perfect work, that you may be entire, complete, and lack nothing. So yes, you had to go through trials, says the Lord, body of Christ, in 2021. Are in 2020, but it is was to prepare you for the work that I'm about ready to do, a great work and a quick work in you, says the Lord in 2021. Uh, and so you're going to reign in life now. You're going to reign. It is the the year of the reign of Messiah, the reign of Christ in the earth, and the reign of his saints, and the reign of the elect. It is the year of the election, the Lord said, that the, the election is coming, the elect of God, that there is an elect remnant of God, that the remnant church has been prepared for the last days, I, says the Spirit of God, and I'm about ready to reveal them in the earth, the Lord said, so that the knowledge of my glory can cover the earth as the waters cover the sea, says the Lord, Habakkuk 2.14. That's also a prophecy that was uh, in Isaiah chapter 11, I believe, verse 6. That he says the knowledge of the glory of the Lord will be in the earth in those days. And we've seen that already fulfilled. Uh, we've seen Isaiah 61, Isaiah 11, Isaiah 9, uh, 9, 6, you know, that, that we've seen that already fulfilled when Jesus came the first time, but it is also a dual fulfillment, a dual prophecy. That we're going to see it come to pass again afterward. He said that unto us a child was born. Unto us a son is given. Hallelujah. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God. Everlasting Father. He said of the increase and the peace of his government. There shall be no end. And so the Lord is saying the increase and the peace of the government and the kingdom of Messiah 
is coming in 2021. The Lord said that there's going to be an increase of the government of God in the earth. It's going to be like we've never seen before. There will be a covenant, Exodus 34, 10, of marvels such as never been seen in any nation or nor among any people in 2021. The Lord said that I'm going to do marvels. I'm going to do things that have never been seen. I want you to look at the prophecy in Exodus 34, verse 10. It said, I'm going to make give you a covenant of marvels in the earth that have not done been done in any nation or among any people. And it is going to be a terrible thing, says the Lord, that I will do with you in 2021, says the Lord, that people will be shocked says God, what I have done to in your life, people that knew you before will not even recognize you, I prophesy, in 2021. You're going to have such a new glory. God said that greater glory is falling upon you. The mountain of the Lord, the mountain of the house of God, the mountain of fire and glory is coming in the earth, and the river of healing is coming to the nations, the Lord said. Hallelujah, in 2021. The Lord said it is also the year, listen to this, Hallelujah, there are so many uh, uh, prophecies that the Lord has given me, but I'm going to slow down and make sure I get them all. Look at this. The Lord said this. Hallelujah. He says 2021 is going to be the year of magnifying Jesus through testifying of the works of old. Psalm 7, 77, 10 through 14. We are going to begin to speak of the greatness of God to the heathen, the Lord said. God commanded the children of Israel uh, in Psalm 77 to continually uh, tell your children about the great works of God in the earth. The Lord said it's going to be through our testimony that it's going to bring many souls uh, into the kingdom. The Lord said he and she who wins souls is wise in 2021. Those that are going to be soul winners, I prophesy, mm -hmm. evangelists are coming out uh, of the caves. Prophets and evangelists, the Lord said, and even pastors and teachers, new apostolic pastors and teachers, and setting up new churches, apostolic hubs and prayer. My house shall be a house of prayer of all nations, a house of prayer, says the Lord. Isaiah 56, 7, my house shall be a house of prayer of all nations, but many of my pastors have made it a den of thieves. In 2020, God said, I'm pulling down some and I'm raising up others. Promotion is coming uh, to many people that have been tearing as laborers in the field, says the Lord, in 2020. You've been serving in your church. You've been serving in helps and governments and administrations. You are serving in the children's ministry. You are serving in the youth ministry. You are serving driving the church bus and picking people up. But God said, I'm pulling down some and raising up others. God said, many of those servants are going to be raised up to pastors and teachers in the church in 2021, the Lord said. Pastors and teachers and great evangelists are being sent out. Missionary evangelists are being sent out just like this kingdom is going out. Uh, Daniel 2, uh, 35, it's coming out and filling the whole earth. So the Lord said, I'm, the earth is going to be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord by the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, by the preaching of the gospel, greater work shall you do. Uh, he that believeth on me, John 14, 12, uh, the same works that I do and greater shall you do because I go to the Father. So the Lord said, I'm pouring out greater works in 2021. You will see such signs, marvels, miracles, and wonders in the earth that you have never seen. And I've saved him for this last day, says the Lord. I've saved him for you. I've saved him for this remnant, says the Spirit of God. That magnifying me, when you magnify me and preach the gospel, I will make sure that people get saved, says the Lord. And I will reward you for your service in 2021, says the Lord. The Lord said great recompense and rewards are coming to his saints uh, from your service for many years in 2021. God said this is a year of increase. This is a year of great provision. The Lord said 2021, you will you poverty the back of poverty will be broken and prosperity is coming to the saints the lord says you will not have to lack nor have poverty anymore says the lord 2021 is a year of abundance i prophesy and not only is it abundance the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness that you might reign in life by one jesus christ romans 4 17 the lord said Hallelujah. And so we're going to speak to God. He said, I am the God that doeth wonders. I am the God that doeth miracles. Psalm 77, 14. And this is what God said. I will do wonders. I will do miracles. I am the God. Hallelujah. Is there anything too hard for me? Says the Lord. The Lord said, it is a year that you're going to prophesy to the mountain. You're going to speak to things and things are going to come to pass. God said, Romans 4, 17, that I'm going to quit 
quicken dead things in your life. And I'm going to call those things that be not as though they were. The Lord said to remember Mark 11, uh, 24 through 20, uh, 23 to 24, uh, Matthew 21, 21, Matthew 17, 20, uh, and Luke, hallelujah, 17 and 6, that Jesus taught us as he spoke to the fig tree and it dried up by the roots, he cursed it at the roots. And John the Baptist said in Matthew 3 that Jesus is coming to lay the axe to the root, that every tree that beareth not fruit is going to be hewn down and cast into the fire. But I'm going to gather my wheat, says the Lord, into my garner. Hallelujah. And he said, I have baptized you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoelaces I am not worthy to unloose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. So the Lord said there's fresh fire, baptism of fire. I'm going to put flames of fire, says the Lord. I'm making my ministers flames of fire and my messengers and my angels flames of fire. Uh, it says in Hebrews 1 and 7, he says who uh, he says of his angels who makes his angel spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. God said, I need some flames of fire. I need some ministers of flames of fire in the earth. Says the Lord in 2021, I'm pouring out the glory and the fire, the mountain of glory, the mountain of fire in 2021. Thus says the Spirit of God, in Jesus' name, I'm pouring out wonders and signs and miracles. God said, get ready. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, get ready for 2021. Hallelujah. Now, listen to this prophecy. This is a powerful prophecy, y'all. I've given this a prophetic word, but there are also two or three uh, words of prophecy that I want to give uh, for 2021. Listen to this. This is going to be a very powerful prophecy. Look at this. Listen to this. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for these prophecies. Hallelujah. There's a couple of them, and I want to give, uh, let me see for the first two. There's the first one. Hallelujah. Now, there's going to be certain corruption that is going to be exposed, says the Lord in 2021, that the lies and tactics of Satan will be exposed, says the Lord in 2021. The Lord kept showing me all through the Christmas season, uh, 844. It fell on 844 uh, five times during Christmas. And the Lord said, I want you to look up John 844. And I looked up John 844. And here's what the Lord said in John 844. Jesus says unto them, if God were your father, you, you would, uh, uh, you would, uh, believe me. Uh, and, and cause I proceeded from my father. He says, he says, uh, I came not of myself but I came of the Father because he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because he says you cannot hear my word. He says, John 8, 44, listen to this. You are of your father, the devil. The lust of your father will you do. He was a murderer from the beginning and he abode not in the truth. Look at this. He abode not in the truth. When he speaks a lie, he speaks of himself. Or there's another translation that says, when he speaks a lie, he speaks out of his own reserve. And he says that he, uh, he is a liar and the father of lies. And the Lord said, I'm about ready to reveal. I've seen this 844 in the last four days. And the Lord said, I'm about ready to reveal the tactics of the lies of Satan. And I want you to look at this, John 44, 44, that he says, every time that a lie is spoken. And the Lord said, many times there's a spirit of, uh, that's why one minute uh, uh, in uh, Matthew 16, uh, that that Jesus was saying to 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 Peter, upon this rock I'll build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. And he said, you know, he was revealed that he is the Christ, the Son of the living God. And the next minute, he told Peter, get behind me, Satan, your offense to me, because you savor not the things of God, but the things of men. So the Lord said, every time you speak a lie or you speak of, of the flesh or men, you are speaking of your father, the devil. And so the Lord said, I'm about ready to cleanse and give knowledge to the body of Christ of the tactics and lies of the enemy. Even the lies that you've been speaking out of your own mouth in 2021, the Lord said, I'm going to reveal those lies because many times, many people allow the devil to speak through them. And, and you know, if the apostle Peter did it, uh, we, we're not exempt from that. Okay. And so I seen this 844 and the Lord showed me many people. I'm going to just speak about 
uh, this for a minute, but many people lie to their children and they tell them during these Christmas season that there's a Santa Claus and there's an Easter bunny. You are lie to your children if you tell them that there's a Santa Claus. Do you know the word Santa is the word Satan? Come on, somebody, wake up. So Santa, now the cult uses letters like NASA. You, you see the letters of Satan. Santa, all the word, the letters of Satan are in Santa. And if you've been, uh, there are certain elemental spirits or spirits of Babylon. Mystery Babylon is a, is a cultic religion that are connected to Christmas, okay? And so many people that, that lie to their children and, and they say, well, we just, you know, we're just telling them about this. Uh, you're, you're practicing paganism. And the Lord said, you need to repent, uh, for those Christmas spirits. They're called Stokian, meaning Stokian are the elemental spirits of mystery Babylon. That means that, that, that Satan is always trying to imitate Jesus in the earth. So what he did was in the days of Babel, he took Nimrod, Nimrod, Samaramis, who is uh, 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 the queen of heaven, and they had a baby called Tammuz. And Tammuz is a false messiah. And there was a mystery Babylon religion that came back from Babylon. That's what he's talking about in Revelation 17 and 18. But this mystery paganism is what is infiltrating our church through uh, traditions of men, what Jesus said that would make the word of God in that effect. And so uh, it is a paganism and these elemental spirits that are connected to Christmas and Easter. And if you are telling your children that there's an Easter bunny or there's a Santa Claus and elves and they come, you need to repent because you are speaking a lie. And when you speak a lie, you're of Satan. See, see, Satan is trying to Santa Claus, Satan Claus. He's trying to get you to worship Satan instead of Jesus. And so we got to get back to worshiping Jesus. As a matter of fact, uh, if we really look at the prophecies, Jesus was born around September 23rd to 24th. He was never even uh, born on, on, on December 25th. Okay, so, um, you know, uh, but that's a whole nother message. Okay, so he was really born on September 23rd around the time of Virgo. Uh, but anyway, the, so what happens is the church has started to mix with paganism and we give way to seducing spirits and doctrines doctrines of demons, and the stokion, which are called what Paul calls the elemental spirits. He says the rudiments of this world. And so you fall back into this. You can see that in Galatians 4 and Colossians chapter 2, that you fall prey to these elemental spirits, which are the same spirits that Timothy, Paul told Timothy, that will be in the last days seducing spirits and doctrines and heresies of demons. And so we break... Uh, all those doctrines of demons and the lies of the enemy around these Christmas spirits and these holiday spirits. They even stole our, uh, our word holy day. You get holiday from holy day, which was actually the feast of Pentecost, the Feast of Tabernacles, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Those are holy days, the feast days, but they, the world took it and put it to holidays. Uh, and then they, they did the same thing. Uh, they did the same thing with Christmas. Uh, originally, the, the, the Catholic Church uh, took it and they made Christ Mass. That is what it means, Christ Mass. But it was a Catholicism. And there's all kinds of spirits, Queen of Heaven uh, and all that connected to, uh, you know, uh, paganism and Catholicism. And so, um, and then the world took it and they said, well, we'll just call it Christmas. They don't even say Christ Mass. So they tried to change it and say, well, there's somebody called Chris Kringle. See, Chris Kringle. So there's a paganism uh, that is mixing with the church. And that's why the Lord said that this is going to be the year of purging and cleansing of the temple and rededication of the temple. That 2021 is cleansing and purging the temple of false idols, of paganism, of, of doctrines of demons, seducing spirits. And I'm taking down some. I'm setting up others, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, Psalm 77. He, uh, he, 78, he says, promotion doesn't come from the north, south, east, and west, but promotion comes from the Lord. He takes down some and he sets up others. So God is going to take down some and set up others. But I prophesy many that have been waiting uh, and training in the wilderness, apostles and prophets, evangelists, pastors and teachers, fivefold leaders. God is setting you up in 2021 uh, into an office, I prophesy. So get ready. 
It's going to happen very fast. God said, I'm doing a quick work in 2021. I'm doing it very fast, says the Spirit of God. In Jesus' name, I'm exposing the corruption of the world, a corruption of Satan. I want you to read all of John chapter 8, where I read this from. Um, and he says, those that, that hear me keep my word. Um, those that cannot hear me are not of God. Basically, they cannot hear God. Okay, and God said, I'm opening up the ears of the prophets. Also, I want you to look at, uh, I want you to look at Isaiah chapter 50. It talks about, he has given me the ear of the learned, hallelujah, the mouth of the learned to know how to speak a word in due season. He has opened up my ears and I was not rebellious. And therefore, will I set my face like a flint. Hallelujah. And I will not be moved. So God said in 2021, you need to set your face like a flint. And you need to go. Uh, go for it. Don't let the devil, the father of lies, lie to you anymore. Uh, I gave you a few examples of the lies. But you can tell now, man, I, that devil's been lying to me. And I've been letting the devil speak through me. And so the Lord said, I'm going to cleanse that lies and, and that tactics and of the enemy, and I'm revealing his tactics, his lies. I, you know, it was four days, five days. Yesterday was the fifth day. He showed me 844. Now, how often can a clock fall on 844? Uh, through a holiday season. That, that, that that's, that, that's too, it's too, uh, coincidental to not be prophetic. And so the Lord showed me that. Now, there's a couple prophecies, and I want to get to them. And these are powerful prophecies. I want to not miss them. Here's one of them. Let me see this one. There will also be divine healing. I'm going to talk about divine healing. Uh, this is a year I've already prophesied of mantles and functionings of spiritual fathers and spiritual mothers. 1 Corinthians 4, 15 and 16. Paul says uh, that you may have 10,000 instructors, but you have not many fathers. And so the Lord said that I'm setting up spiritual fathers and mothers in 2021. And the DNA of fathers and the DNA of spiritual mothers will be transferred to the sons and daughters in 2021. I prophesy, hallelujah, that the apostolic office will also uh, uh, be seen in the earth. The Lord said the apostolic and the prophetic is going to be recognized in 2021 by the rest of the church. That many cessationists are going to um, come to the knowledge that the gifts of the Spirit still are activated uh, and that we're still seeing miracles in the earth and we're still seeing apostles and prophets. Uh, and the apostolic and prophetic is coming uh, a full circle around, says the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. And 2021. Hallelujah. Now, here's a prophecy. I want you to take close note of this prophecy. The Lord said 2021 is going to be the year of your of escaping death. Listen to me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. 2021 will be a year of escaping death, says the Spirit of God. You will escape death in 2021. The Lord said that there are many plans of the enemy. John 8, 44, the father of lies, he has come to steal, kill, and destroy. But the Lord said he has had a death uh, there has been a, a, an assassination attempt on, on many people and the Lord had planned to bring death into your family in 2021, but the Lord says you will escape death. I prophesy in 2021 that God will thwart death, death, and that there will be a river of healing coming out to the nations, says the Lord, and there will be a tree, uh, uh, uh Revelation 22, Two, that there will be a tree and that tree will have 12 manner of fruits and that tree and those fruits are the, for the healing of the nations. So God said in 2021, the nations, not only personal people, the building of the rededication of the temple, our temples, the new churches, but the nations are going to be healed from all this happened in 2021, the COVID-19, all the death. Uh, uh, people being um, tore up with the spirit of trauma. I see a lot of post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, 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 rejection, sensitive dysphoria. God said, I'm going to clean that with the fire and glory. That is why my mountain, uh, that people are going to flow to the mountain of the house of the Lord uh, of glory in 2021, and they're going to learn. I'm going to teach them my ways, and they are going to walk in my path. And many people will put down their, they will uh, beat their uh, swords into plowshares, uh, and they'll make pruning hooks, right? Uh, and their spears and their pruning hooks, and they'll learn war no more. That means that many, much more peace. That's what Isaiah 9, 6, and 7 said, that the increase of the peace and the government and peace 
of the Lord Jesus Christ, there'll be no more, no end. So it's going to continue to spread. And uh, this is going to cause a lot of war battered countries uh, to make peace with other countries. But there will also be great tribulation in the earth also. So we are going to see the end times. We're seeing the end times. But the Lord said it will go well with the remnant. And so those that are saved and, and sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, those that are in Christ will be our right. It's going to go well with the remnant. The Lord said there will be tribulation in the earth. John 16, 33, that he said, uh, in the earth there shall be tribulation uh, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So the Lord said, in the world shall be tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So Jesus says, I've overcome the world. And the Lord said, also 2021 is the year of the overcomer. God said, the year of reigning uh, of the messianic kingdom, the year of the reign of the saints, the year of the election, and the year of the overcomer, says the Spirit of God. The year of overcomers. And it is also the year of the fear of God amongst the nations. The Lord said the fear of the Lord is coming back to the nations of the earth. See, there are many things that are going to happen that are good. This is the knowledge of the glory of the Lord covering the earth as the waters cover the sea. But there are many things that are going to happen uh, that are going into the end times of tribulation. And God said that 2021 is a pivotal year, that uh, there that it is the most pivotal year in history ever. 2021 is going to be the pivotal year, uh, the year we go from the church age into the kingdom age. So there's going to be a new era. We've already prophesied that uh, for the new Hebrew year, 5781 in September, because that is also the beginning of the year. But there's also something about 2021, the year, uh, the change of the Gregorian calendar also. So we're going to see a great shift tomorrow. Even tonight at, at midnight, I prophesy there's going to be a major shift. Things that were really hard for you to understand, God said, I'm pouring out the spirit of wisdom and revelation uh, in 2021. And the Lord said, also this, I want you to uh, read in Zechariah. There's many other prophecies I have, but Zechariah chapter uh, 12, 10 through 14. Let's look at that for a minute, and then we'll get back to another prophecy that the Lord gave me. And then I'll just prophesy a little bit as the Spirit of God moves me. But I want you to see this uh, spirit that's poured out in the earth in these last days. How, how are we going to um, come to the fullness of Christ. The Lord said the year of 2021 is also the year of the fullness of the body of Christ, the fullness of Christ and the overflow of the spirit. Let's look at this for a minute. Uh, Zechariah chapter, thank you, Holy Ghost. Zechariah chapter uh, 13, 12 and 13. Let's look at Zechariah 12 and 13. We thank you. And remember that a river's coming out of Ezekiel 47 and to heal the nations and also Revelation 22, 2. Uh, for the healing of the nations, hallelujah, uh, and all nations shall flow to the mountain of the house of the Lord, and they will learn his ways, thank you, Lord, and so let's look at Zechariah, I had it marked out, but it, I lost it somehow, okay, let's look here, Matthew, thank you, Jesus, we praise you right now, we worship you and glorify you, and a year of worship, we just need to continue to worship the Lord, okay, so let's look at this um, word of prophecy here, also, uh, and a lot of these prophecies you're going to see in the scriptures. Uh, and then I'll just prophesy the rhema as the Holy Ghost moves after this. And so we thank you, Lord. Zechariah 12, verse 10 through 14. Listen to this, what the Lord is saying. I will pour, listen to this. I will pour upon you the house of David, which is, which is Israel, but it can also be, you know, prophetically the body of Christ. So I pour on the house of David and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplications. And they shall look upon him whom they have pierced and they shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his only son and shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for their firstborn. So God said, I'm going to out, pour out the spirit of grace and supplication on the body of Christ and on the remnant of Israel also, the, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, which is Israel. And we're going to begin to have a year of mourning for Christ, mourning for what Jesus went through. And, and the Lord said it's going to be every family apart. Look at this prophecy, Zechariah 12, 11. In that day shall there be a great mourning in Jerusalem as the mourning of Hadadrum and the valley of Megiddo. Listen to this verse. Now mark it down, 12 through 14. And the land shall mourn, every family apart, 
the family of the house of David apart, their wives apart, the family of the house of Nathan apart, and their wives apart. Verse 13, the family of the house of Levi apart, and their wives apart. And then he says this, and the family of, of Shammai apart, and their wives apart. All the families that remain, every family apart, and their wives apart. That means that it's a personal salvation, that there's going to be a mourning and a coming back to Christ, but it's not going to be something that your father did or your mother did. This is going to be every family member apart, even your wives and your children, says the Lord, that even if you've been the pillar of your family, whether you're a, a man or a woman, uh, many single mothers on here and women, uh, apostolic prophetic women, pastors, women pastors on here and prophets and apostles, prophetesses, You've had to take care of your family, but the Lord said, I'm going to pour out the spirit of grace and supplication, meaning there's going to be a great level of grace and supplications in the earth. And you won't even have to tell your, your children to pray, says the Lord, that every family member apart and every family apart will begin to, to mourn for Jesus. They'll begin to mourn for and see Jesus on that cross and they'll realize that he had died for their salvation, for their personal uh, uh, healing and salvation. And many family members uh, will get saved, says the Lord in 2021, that many uh, of those that have been mourning and praying and interceding for family members, many family members will come to the Lord in 2021, I prophesy, uh, and God's going to pour out this great, the spirit of grace and supplication, and he's going to open up this fountain. This fountain is going to be for cleansing and healing. I've been prophesying the river of God coming out of Ezekiel 47 uh, and Revelation 22, but also there's a fountain for cleansing. This is something like we've seen in the pool of Bethsaida, uh, Bethesda, when we've seen in John 5 that the angel come down at a certain season and troubled the waters, and anybody who stepped in to, the, to that pool were, were healed. And the Lord said, these are healing waters that are coming out in 2021. People that need supernatural healings uh, and things that have they've never been able to get, will get it in this year, says the Lord in 2021. I prophesy. The Lord said, uh, look at this, uh, uh, Zechariah 13 and 1. In that day, there shall be a fountain open to the house of David and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem for sin and for uncleanliness. Hallelujah. And it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord of hosts, that I will cut off the names of the idols out of the land, and there shall no more be remembered. And also I will uh, cause the prophets and the unclean spirit to pass out of the land. So, there, you know, this isn't the fulfillment yet. We've seen this actually the fulfillment when Jesus came the first time that we've seen that he would, he took over the head of all principalities, powers, rules, and dominions and thrones, became under the authority of Jesus Christ. And he also gave believers authority, Luke 10, 19, to trample on serpents and scorpions over all the power of the enemy. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. But he said uh, that we don't all, we don't see everything under the feet of Jesus yet that we don't see all things under his feet yet. So the kingdom is now, but not yet. So the kingdom is now, but not yet. There was fulfillment when Jesus came the first time. There's a, another fulfillment coming now, and then there's one that's coming in the future. And so we see that there all, thing, all spirits will eventually be put under the authority of Jesus Christ. It says, and then the last enemy will be death. The last enemy will be death, uh, we see that in 1 Corinthians 15, and then the kingdom will be delivered up to the Father that God may be all in all. So even Jesus will end up delivering uh, after he destroys death and we're, uh, he comes back and we're resurrected and have new bodies, right? We're resurrected and have glorified bodies and go to live with Christ and we'll ever be with him. 1 Corinthians 15 will be caught up the rapture into the air. Many call it the rapture. You can call it the re resurrection, depending on how you believe. Uh, but then will death be destroyed uh, for a thousand years? And then we'll see uh, Satan released for a season. And then ultimately he'll be cast into the lake of fire. But we see at that end will be the consummation of time. And so the Lord said that time is culminating and the consummation of time is coming. 
People are going to see time moving very fast, says the Lord. Okay, so there are going to be certain uh, miracles that are going to happen that, that there's going to be a moving of time. And also there will be a transportation of, of prophets and apostles. The Lord said that the, even as uh, Elijah was translated, Enoch was translated, that many will be translated and be transported in the earth in these last days. Now the Lord said many miracles are going to happen. That time is going to be moved around. Now a miracle happens in three ways ways okay a miracle happens in three ways first of all a miracle happens by time being moved backward okay so we see that in Isaiah 38 and 2nd Kings chapter 20 that uh, there was a sickness came on King Hezekiah and uh, he told uh, the prophet Isaiah to go to him and say put your house in order because you have only 15 years left but notice Hezekiah, King Hezekiah turned his face towards the wall and he prayed to God. And notice before Isaiah even got out into the inner court or the first chain court that God, the word of the Lord came again to Isaiah the prophet and he said, go back and tell King Hezekiah that I've added 15 years to his life. Okay, so there was 15 years added to his life, though the rest of the, the world continued as normal. And and here's a, that's why a miracle can happen. Watch. And then he said, well, how will I know that this thing has come to pass? Uh, and what sign will I have? And, and, and here's what Isaiah said. Do you want the dial of Ahaz to go back 10 degrees or forward 10 degrees? And he said, well, it's an easy thing for the dial to go forward 10 degrees. He said, how about you make the dial go backward 10 degrees? And then I'll know that the Lord has spoken this, this that I'll regain 15 years. Do you know what? The dial of Ahaz moved back 10 degrees. That means he gained 15 years. Come on, somebody. That King Hezekiah gained 15 years. So God did a miracle by moving time backward. Yet the rest of the time, and the earth went forward. My God, thank you, Holy Ghost. Then the second way God does a miracle is to uh, sustain time. Okay, we see that in Joshua 10, where Joshua commanded the sun and the, to stand still for a whole day, for a whole 24 hours. That means that there was no night for 24 hours. It was daylight, but it was Joshua that commanded it. And so it said in that chapter, Joshua 10, that that was the first time that God listened to a man and Joshua, it wasn't God that told Joshua to command it. Joshua, uh, the word of the mouth of the man of God spoke and the sun stood still, right? And, and it gained a whole day. So he, that means time stood still. So there was a miracle by time standing still. Now the third way a miracle happens is time has moved forward. So, so we see that in Jonah. When Jonah landed on Nineveh, uh, he landed on Nineveh. Notice he had a three-day journey that he made in one day. A three-day journey in one day. That means God supernaturally moved time forward. So we see miracle in three ways. Time moved backward. Isaiah 38, uh, 2 Kings 20. Uh, and then we see time standing still, uh, being sustained. We see that Joshua 10 and time being moved forward. Jonah chapter one and two. And so, uh, God is going to do some crazy things in 2021 with time. Uh, and I've already started to see that things are happening different in the skies. We've seen, uh, some signs in the heavens. We've seen the sign, uh, uh during the, around the time of Christmas. There's certain signs in the heavens. And so the Lord said that Look up, your redemption draws nigh. Uh, so, so there are going to be certain signs. We've seen the blood moons back in 2017 of the end times. We also see uh, certain things lining up. We've seen the Revelation 12 sign, uh, the woman with the, uh, the, the moon at her feet and the star. These are certain prophetic signs because God said in Genesis that I make uh, the sun and the moon and the stars uh, for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And so that the, 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 the signs of the heavens, uh, you know, are happening, says the Lord in 2021. Now, also, I want you to look at this. This is what the Lord said. He gave me a special word of prophecy for people that have been struggling, uh, and paying pharmaceutical company companies. You've got certain people that have terminal illnesses, uh, that have, uh, have got certain medication or treatments like uh, like uh, cancer treatments. Uh, what is that stuff called? Uh, you know, a cancer treatment, uh, chemotherapies, certain medications. Um, 
through the pharmaceutical industries uh, and that it has damaged you. The Lord gave me this. Uh, he gave me the scripture of the woman with the issue of blood. Listen now, the woman had and with the issue of blood had spent all her living on physicians, and she. And the Bible says she didn't get better, but she became worse. And the Lord said, "I'm sending out judgment and justice." into the pharmaceutical companies and the systems of the healthcare and systems of the earth. I'm judging certain uh, earthly systems, says the Lord, that and governments also, certain governments and systems of the earth, including the pharmaceutical companies and the health system. The Lord said that certain people that have been like the women with the issue of blood, uh, that you have spent all your living on physicians and you didn't get better, but you became worse. The Lord said that I'm going to bring recompense to you, says the Lord in 2021, that I'm going to uh, cause them to give great settlements. I prophesy great settlements are coming from Pharmaceutical companies in 2021, great settlements are coming from uh, people that had terminal illnesses that they were given certain uh, medicines that made them worse and not better. And the Lord said, I'm rewarding back Christians that have gone uh, through these uh, different treatments but have got worse. And God said, I'm going to judge these these." the health systems in the earth and the pharmaceutical companies. And the Lord said that also there will be healing, this river of healing coming up from coming out from the mountain of God and the throne room is going to heal terminal diseases in 2021. The Lord said, many people on here, you you struggle with a terminal disease. God said, I'm healing it supernaturally in 2021. A covenant of marvels. Exodus 34, 10, such as never been seen in any nation among any people. The Lord said, it'll be a terrible thing that I will do with you. And the Lord says, you'll have a testimony and you will go forth and serve the Lord. And many people that get a uh, healing of terminal diseases, the Lord said, and the reverse of curses. God said, I'm reversing curses, says the Lord in 2021, by the blood of my son, Jesus Christ, that is a shed, was the propitiation, but many people haven't received that. Or you have a sin that you haven't confessed. First John 1, 9, if you confess your sins, the Lord said, he is faithful and just to forgive us, and what? To cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So many people have had a sin or a generational curse in the way of getting your healing. But God said, I'm moving uh, those sins and curses out of the way in 2021 so you can get your healing and your miracle, your marvel. And the Lord said, you will praise me and your testimony will also bring many people to Christ, says the Lord, in 2021. That's why I'm healing many, says the Lord. And also, I'm opening up many prophetic healing uh, and miracle ministries. The, the gifts of healings and the workings of miracles. God said mantles of, 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 of old evangelists, healing evangelists uh, in the earth like Catherine Coleman, uh, A.A. Allen, uh, Smith Wigglesworth. There's going to be a mantle of like Smith Wigglesworth, uh, you know, those different uh, John G. Lake in the earth, the Lord said. Uh, there's going to be a, an Azuzu type street mantles of like William Seymour for revivalists, uh, that there's going to be uh, uh, this this revival glory in 2021 the lord said that i'm bringing revival reformation in the earth and i'm refining systems and i'm bringing a renewal a spirit of renewal and a greater glory in 2021 says the lord and i'm judging these pharmaceutical companies and these these health care systems says the lord and i'm reversing the curse and i'm bringing justice and settlements says the Lord in 2021 for people that were like this woman with the issue of blood who spent all she had on physicians and she got worse. She didn't get better, but she got worse. And so God said, I'm sending this judgment and justice to judge these systems in the earth in 2021, says the Lord in Jesus name. Lord, we thank you for the rededication of, of, of the temple of the Lord. The Lord said, uh, we actually just went through Hanukkah. The, 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 the word Hanukkah means dedication. And so the word Hanukkah is the dedication, the Hebrew month to vet. And so many people are celebrating Christmas, but really it's the, the Jewish season of Hanukkah right now. And it's the month of Tibet. Hanukkah 
is where you see the goodness of God and the dedication, rededicate the feast of dedication. And so, Lord said, there's going to be a rededication uh, in 2021 tonight, starting tonight and going out through 2021. Uh, the dedication of Tibet, the month of Tibet and Hanukkah, Hallelujah! And the Lord said, the feast of dedication. This is also uh, the time of year that Esther. Listen, Queen Esther went into the courts of the king and she got her petition answered during Hanukkah. And that means that the Lord said during this season, you will get petitions that you have gone into the king answered in this, this season of Hanukkah. The Lord said certain uh, uh, petitions that you were not able to get. And the Lord said this is also the year of the books of remembrance. I prophesy in Jesus name. God said many books are being opened. Uh, Malachi 3.16 uh, we see that the books of remembrance, the Lord said, I'm going to remember your works in 2021. I'm rewarding you. Um, and, and the Lord said, I'm rewarding certain people. Uh, this is what the, the disciples asked Jesus. They said, what about us? We, we've we left everything to follow you. What do we get? And the Lord said, I tell you that you're going to get a hundredfold. Hallelujah. Not only in the world to come, but in this life, houses, uh, you know, lands and properties. So I prophesy the Lord is giving a hundredfold in 2021 houses, lands, properties. I also prophesied a territorial anointing, territories for the kingdom of heaven. You will go into nations and have a territorial anointing, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Many apostles on here, apostles and prophets, a territorial anointing to go into other nations, a uh, global anointing. Many international in ministries and global ministries will be birthed, says the Lord in 2021. And I will give those uh, a territorial anointing, says God. Hallelujah. Many apostolic and prophetic uh, ministries are going to be birthed and a territorial anointing. The Lord said this is also the year of 2021 of reformers and the Puritans are coming back. Back when the Puritans uh, started this country, there was a group of Puritans, the founding uh, fathers. They didn't celebrate certain, uh, you know, traditions of men like we do, um, but they were Puritans. And the Lord said that this is the year that we're the reformers are coming and the Puritans are coming back, that the Puritans will be coming back and uh, the year of taking of our inheritance. The Lord said, also, that this is a year of appropriating your faith. Hallelujah. The year of appropriating your faith. God said that faith without works is dead being alone. So it is the year to appropriate your faith. Step out on faith. The Lord said, just like I spoke in, 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 in Mark 11, uh, verse 23 through 24 through 25. You see it in Matthew 21, 21. You see it in Matthew 17, 20. And you see it in Luke chapter 17, verse 6. He said, what, he said, if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, that's the smallest seed there is, you shall say to this mountain, be thou removed and cast in the sea. And if you doubt not in your heart, but you believe those things which you speak, shall come to pass. You'll have whatever you say. And then he goes on to Mark 11, uh, 24. Therefore, I say to you, when you stand praying, whatsoever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you have received them and you'll have whatever you say. So the Lord said, you begin to speak and prophesy into 2021. Speak things into existence. We prophesy over our 2021 that we're coming out of lack into poverty. I mean, into prosperity. Poverty is being broken. We're coming out of lack and poverty, uh, uh, poverty, and we're coming into prosperity. We prophesied it that the mountains are going to be removed of debt in 2021. We prophesy the mountain of sickness will be broken, says the Lord. That the ball that is cut out without hands, uh, the messianic kingdom will come and break down the idols, break down sickness. Well, the knowledge of the glory of the Lord will cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. That is going to break down the strongholds in our minds. The Lord said to pull down those strongholds in 2021. Cast down those vain imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Bring every thought into captivity, 
to the obedience of Jesus Christ in 2021. The Lord said that 2021 is your year of obedience. The Lord said, if you'll be willing and obedient, you shall also eat the good of the land. Hallelujah. He said, come, let us reason together. Isaiah 1, 18 and 19. He said, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as wool. Then he says in Isaiah 1, 19, if you be willing and obedient, you will also eat the good of the land. So the Lord said, you will eat the good of the land in 2021. With, if you are willing and obedient, God said, you can prophesy and things will begin to happen, says the Lord. I will call those things that be not as though they were. I'll quicken dead things in your life. And I will call those things that be not as though they were, Romans 4, 17, because I'm the God of all flesh. Is any two thing too hard for me, says the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm the God of signs, wonders, marvels, and miracles. Miracles, and I will do a great work, says the Lord, in the earth in 2021, says the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. I will break down systems. I will bring recompense and justice and judgment in the earth, says the Lord. I'm going to break down even governmental socialism, uh, socialist governments and communism. God says you'll be surprised, even though the result of the election wasn't the way I wanted it, says the Lord. I will still do a great work in the earth, the Lord said, and you will be surprised, says God. And you will laugh for what I do, says the Lord in 2021 with the president of the United States, says the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for that word of prophecy. We thank you, God, for that the rededication of your temples, the temples of God, for the cleansing of our temples. God, cleanse our temples. Cleanse out the churches with the refiner's fire of the full of soap. And the spirit of burning and judgment is coming to cleanse idols and cleanse the temples out. And the Lord said that those that that we can walk in a great level of greater glory and signs and wonders that a great revival and reformation is coming in the earth in 2021. But I'm it's a year of preparation also. So the Lord said, I'm preparing you and I've been preparing you. I prepared you all throughout 2020, says the Lord, for what's about ready to happen in 2021. Things that we have never seen. That covenant of marbles, Exodus 34, 10, that have never been seen in any nation nor among any people, says the Lord. And it's a terrible thing that I'm about ready to do in the earth. And I will do a quick work, says God, in 2021. The Lord said that spirit of grace and supplication is coming out. You'll be able to pray easier, God said, that I will make intercession with groanings through my Holy Spirit, God said, that that spirit of grace, I'm going to pour out a greater grace, says the Lord, a greater anointing. And the Lord said, it will, things will come a lot easier in 2021. You won't be so oppressed. And the Lord said, great deliverers are rising up, says the Lord in 2021. Great deliverance and great deliverers. Great deliverance ministries, God said, and, and, and great healing uh, ministries are coming. Uh, workings of uh Healings, signs, and wonders, the Lord said. Mm. It'll be, uh, you know, mantles of healing. Healing ministries, healing evangelists. Uh, there'll be signs and wonders, but the healing uh, evangelists will also work miracles. And so I see that mantle of miracles also on the evangelists. The gifts of healings and the workings of miracles are coming, and they're also going to move in great glory and signs and wonders, says the Lord. And many souls will come into the kingdom. So get ready. The gates to the house of the Lord are opening, says the Lord. The gates to the city of New Jerusalem. Uh, to the We've come into the, the, the Mount Zion, the city of the living God. To the New Jerusalem, uh, to the, the church of the firstborn, to the to the the souls of just men made perfect. So we're coming to Mount Zion, that mountain of the house of the Lord. The Lord said, the mountain of glory and of fire. The mountain of God is going to be established, I prophesy, in the earth. And a river of healing and anointing is coming out to heal the nations from all that happened in 2020. Uh, all the uh, COVID-19, all the racial tension is going to be healed, God said. Uh, and the body is going to be brought into one new man, both Jew, Greek, bond, free, um, black, white, uh, all different ethnic groups and nations. God said that I'm bringing up people to be one body of Christ in 2021. I'm breaking down that middle wall of partition, uh, that wall of jealousy, envy, that wall of division down. The Lord said that's that Ephesians chapter 2 prophecy, says the Lord. And also the Lord said Exodus 23, 28-31 Hallelujah is the territorial anointing. I want you to read Exodus 23, 28 to 31. This is what the Lord is saying. Listen to this. And I, and I spoke a little bit about this, how God has taken sickness 
and disease away from his people. This is part of that uh, that healing river coming out. But let's look at how that territorial anointing works and how we'll see it right here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for that anointing of territorial anointing. Let's look at it. Exodus 23. Thank you, Father. Exodus 23. And thank you, Jesus. 23, Genesis, Exodus. Uh... Yeah, Exodus 19, 23. Okay, so let's look at Exodus 23, uh, starting at verse 25 all the way through 31. He said, uh, And you shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. So God said, I'm going to bless your bread, I'm going to bless your water, and God said in 2021, I'm taking sickness away from thee. Verse 26 Exodus twenty three twenty six. There sh shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren uh, in thy land, and the number of thy days thou shall fulfill. So this is full uh, years of life. The Lord said, I'll satisfy your mouth with good things. I'll renew your youth like the eagles, and I'll bring you to full years, and, and to, to the full amount of your years. Now, verse 21, I will send my fear before thee, and I will destroy all the people to whom thou shalt come, and I will make all thy enemies turn their backs unto thee. Now, mark this down. Exodus twenty three twenty eight. I will send hornets before you, which shall drive out the Hivite, the Canaanite, and the Hittite before thee. I will drive them out from before thee in one year. This is what I've been saying. In one year, the Lord said, I'm going to drive out all that oppress you, all your enemies, all the evil spirits that are in your body, your temple. That's part of the cleansing. Great deliverance that I'm going to drive them out in one year, says the Lord. Uh, and the land shall become desolate lest the land shall become desolate and the beasts of the field multiply against thee. I will do it like this. This is what the Lord said, Exodus uh, 23 and 30. By little and little, I will drive them out from before you until thou be increased and inherit the land. And I will set, listen to this, thy bound from the Red Sea, even unto the Sea of the Philistines and from the desert unto the river will I deliver the inhabitants of the land into your hand and thou shalt drive them out from before you. That's a territorial anointing right there. That God's delivering people into your hand, countries and nations, right? And certain uh, territorial spirits even. Uh, demonic principalities, powers, territorial elemental spirits, that Stokion I was talking about uh, in Galatians 4. And this is what he said, I'm not going to, I'm going to do it all in one year, but I'm going to do it little by little that the beasts of the field, listen to this, uh, don't multiply against thee. So what he's talking about, this is a picture of deliverance, that I'm going to drive the evil spirits out of your body, out of your temple. I'm going to drive the evil spirits out from the midst of you little by little so that, uh, that, that there's not a certain amount of backlash that comes against you. But the Lord said, I will also do that all in one year. Okay. So I prophesy that year, one year is 2021, that God is driving out the evil spirits around you. Those things that you needed deliverance from, uh, that you've been praying about for the last 30 years. I see it like the women with the issue of blood was 12 years. There was the man, uh, the, there was the man that was by the pool, Bethesda, that I talked about the angel trouble in the waters, John 5. He was there for 38 years, but the angel came down and troubled the waters at a certain season, and, and notice Jesus showed up. He didn't even have to step in the water, but Jesus showed up, and he, he said, do you want to be made whole? So, so the Lord is showing up in 2021 asking people that have been terminally sick, uh, and, and need deliverance, do you want to be made whole? Because notice he didn't even have to put him in the pool, but he said, uh, take up thy bed and walk. So Jesus says, take up thy bed and walk in 2021. That, that there's going to be great faith for signs, wonders, and miracles, but great uh, miracles, okay? Great faith for miracles in 2021. The Lord said to take up thy bed and walk. Many people that have been sick, like I say, like the, the woman in the temple in Luke 13, uh, she was bent over for 18 years, right? Uh, and, and Jesus came and said, woman, thou art loosed 
from thy infirmity, right? And, and even the Pharisees, you know, you, you know, they, they came against him for that because he said he healed on the Sabbath day. And he said, should not this daughter of Abraham, uh, who has been bound, that word bound, for these 18 years be loosed on the Sabbath, right? And so the Lord said that, that I came to set the captives free, to open the prison doors, right? So the Lord said, and this is what the Bible says. He says uh, in 1 John 3 and 8, that Jesus was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. Hallelujah. Uh, Luke 10, or Acts 10 and 38 said how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil because God is with them. So Jesus was manifest in the earth to destroy the works of Satan, the father of lies, John 8, 44. He is the father of lies and to tear down the altars, to pull down and tear down and to build and to plant new things. So I prophesy, God said also the prophets and the apostles, uh, as a Jeremiah 1 and 10, they're going to tear down and destroy and destroy certain altars, break down, tear down. But they're also going to begin to plant and build new churches and new apostolic ministries in 2021. Uh, there's going to be a new wine skin and new wine is poured out, says the Lord, uh, for the church in 2021. And then God said, I'm going to anoint you to build and plant churches and kingdoms that have never been seen in the earth. And God said that, that, that it will give more places for people to go to. And it will also be the book of Acts, Acts uh, the, 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 that they'll go from house to house and break bread. So many miracle and, and churches are going to be in houses, I prophesy. House uh, ministries and churches starting in house ministries, houses of prayer uh, in 2021. Many disciples, uh, the year of discipleship. The Lord said 2021 is the year of discipleship, making disciples of all nations, says the Lord, and, and, and teach them to observe all things that I've taught you. The, the Lord said we got to go beyond just believing. God said we got to go beyond just believers. We got to be disciples. Uh, the Lord said, and to make other disciples in 2021, the Lord said that the body of Christ needs to set out and make other disciples in 2021. So we thank you, God. We praise you and we worship you. We thank you, God, that you released this prophetic word for 2021. We thank you for the prophecies uh, that are released on this word. And we thank you, God. For everything that you're doing, we worship you. We praise you in 2021. We prophesy uh, to the dry areas of our life. We prophesy to the dry bones. You shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. We declare the spirit of life in Christ is going to come back in and raise people from the dead uh, in 2021. Uh, 2021 resurrection spirit and the power. Hallelujah. We're going to see the spirit and power of Elijah in the earth. The spirit and power of Moses, the Esthers and the Deborahs are arising, says the Lord, the Moses and the Elijahs, the Elishas, hallelujah, the Joshuas and Caleb's, hallelujah, are arising in 2021. We thank you that promotion is coming, uh, that the, the DNA of the fathers, spiritual fathers and mothers are going to be transferred to the sons and daughters, and that the mantles and migration of mantles, offices and mantles, functionings and blueprints will be uh, transferred uh, in 2021 from the fathers and mothers and to the sons and daughters and much migration of apostolic and prophetic mantles will happen, says the Lord. A dominion anointing will be, a territorial anointing will be ruling and reigning in life in 2021, Lord said. Hallelujah. It is the year of reigning. Hallelujah. We are, and that Christ reign in the earth, but also the reign of his elect, the reign of the saints of Jesus Christ are going to earth he uh, rule in the earth. Hallelujah. He said in uh, Romans 5, 17, it is the abundance of grace. Hallelujah. And the gift of righteousness that I give to you that you might reign in life by one Jesus Christ. So we thank you for the reigning and rulership and dominion anointing being released into the earth, Lord, in 2021. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for this prophetic word and we just cover it. In the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you for all that are coming on. I'm trying to make this less than an hour so I can get it on some other, uh, on on uh, Instagram. But I don't know. We might be over an hour already. So um, just God bless you, God. Bless your 21. Prophesy uh, to your 2021 tonight uh, during New Year's Eve. To begin to just prophesy and speak life, not death. Speak life, not death. Remember Old Testament prophets? 
uh, were prophets of judgment and condemnation, but New Testament prophets uh, are to prophesy exhortation, edification, and comfort. So we are to build up and encourage and comfort. New Testament prophets, uh, you know, our, our, uh, you know, our, our pa pattern is Jesus in the New Testament. Our pattern is Jesus in the New Testament. Okay, it's a different pattern than Old Testament prophets. Okay, so our our New Testament prophets, our pattern is Jesus, and we we prophesy exhortation, exhortation and comfort, edification. Now there can be some judgment and words of judgment, but mostly we need to pattern our ministries, prophets and apostles in 2021 after the ministry and the teachings of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Uh, bless you in Jesus' name. Love you. Love you. Love you.